everyone, my name is Britt and today I'm going to be teaching you how to play the chords to Chateau by Joe. Quick disclaimer, um, this may or may not be the exact way that he has played it, but I'm very confident that I have the chords correct. And this was requested by a subscriber of mine, Rosalindo, or Rosalindo, I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong, um, requested to see how I played this song in my cover of it, and I am happy to share it. So I reference a few live videos of them playing it. It seems like they play it in a lower key. They also play it with the capo on the third, but I'm gonna teach you just how to play this no capo in standard. So the way that I'm teaching it to you will sound correct when you play it along with the recording. Uh, I figured it out by ear, so I really hope that you enjoy this tutorial. It's my first guitar tutorial, so please let me know what you think. And also feel free to make requests. I'm happy to do them. All right, so let's dive right into it. Okay, so sorry if the camera angle is a little bit awkward. Um, I've never made a guitar tutorial before, so um, I hope that you can see everything all right. Um, so the intro sounds like this. So then it goes on, it repeats from there. Um, <clears throat> so first things first, I'm gonna teach you the chord shapes that I'm holding, and then I'll teach you the picking pattern. So um, usually when I play this, I just play with my fingers, so please excuse me. Um, we're gonna start out by holding this G chord, and uh, the way that we play this is we're gonna put our pinky finger on the 10th fret of the D string, we're gonna put our ring finger on the 9th fret of the D string, we're gonna put our uh, we're going to put our index finger barring the seventh fret of the G, B, and E strings, but we're going to place our middle finger on top on the uh, eighth fret, holding uh, down the eighth fret of the B string. So our G chord sounds like this. Cool. So then the next chord after this is going to be a B major chord. Now we can go from this G major to the B major with very little movement. All we have to do is we're going to pick up our pinky finger. We don't need it for this chord. We're just going to play the top four strings um, or the four thinnest strings. Then we're just going to take our middle finger from the eighth fret of the B and we're going to move it up to be the eighth fret on the G string. And we're going to keep our index finger holding down the top two strings on the seventh fret. So our B chord sounds like this. The next chord is going to be a C major chord. All you have to do is move everything up one fret. So you keep this chord shape, shift it up. C major. And the last chord is going to be C minor. All we're doing is dropping our middle finger and we're gonna just bar the last three strings. So the G, B, and E strings with our index finger and we're gonna keep holding that root down on the 10th fret of the D string. Okay, so those are our chords for the introduction. Now I'll show you how to do the picking pattern. So we're gonna go back to that G, um, and what we're going to do is we're gonna pick the A string, pick the D string, pick the G string, back to the D string, and then up to the E, B, G, D, okay? So slow, that is. All right, next we're going to uh, get into our B shape. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna take our index finger hold down the seventh fret of the D string and we're gonna hammer up to that ninth fret with our ring finger. So we're gonna go. And then with our middle finger, we're gonna grab the eighth fret of the G string. And then when we're doing that, we're just gonna put down our fingers like we're holding the chord that I taught you, okay? So we're gonna go. Make sure you're holding the chord before you get to the next part. 
And then you're going to pick the B string, the G string, and then you're gonna take your pinky finger, you're gonna put it down on the 10th fret of the B and pick it, pick it back off and pick the B string. Now the D, sorry, the G string and the D string now. So slow that part is. And all together it sounds like this, slow. Okay, now to slide up to the C shape, we're gonna take our ring finger and we're gonna hold the, I like to hold the chord kind of loosely hold it, but I'm gonna pick my fingers off except for this one. I'm gonna hold them on top and I'm not gonna press down. So I kind of like lift them a little bit, except for the ring finger, which I'm gonna play the D string again and I'm gonna slide up. I'm not sure if that's how they play it, but that's how I like to play it. I think it's the easiest way to do it, so. And then we're gonna go back to holding our shape again for our C. So slide, D string, uh, sorry, slide on the D string. We're gonna hold our chord. We're gonna hit the G string, B string, back to G. And then we're gonna take our pinky finger, we're gonna grab the 12th fret, it's a little bit of a stretch, we're gonna grab the 12th fret of the B string. We're gonna lift up and hit the B string with our index finger holding it down. And then back to the G string and the D string. And then we're gonna move our middle finger up, up a string to the ninth fret of the D string and we're gonna hammer on with our, in, uh, sorry, with our ring finger up a fret on the 10th fret. So we're gonna go to get to that C minor shape, we're gonna go hammer on like this. And remember our C minor shape, all we need is this ring finger and the index finger barring the top three. So we're gonna go hammer on. We're gonna hold our chord. We're gonna pluck the uh, G string. We're gonna pluck the G string, the B string, back to the G. And then this is kind of the tricky part. We're gonna put our pinky up at the 10th fret of the high E string and we're gonna pull off. So we're gonna play it, pull off, and then we're gonna play the B, the G, and the D. And then we go back to the G shape at the beginning. So all together that C minor part really slow sounds like this and then I'll play it really slow from the top, okay? There you go. So from the top slow, it sounds like this. Okay. Okay, so while this picking part goes on through the entire verse, when I'm playing by myself, I just like to play the chords. Um, so I'll just kind of like comp them like this. Uh, sorry, where am I? I'll just comp them like this. Um, I just think it's easier if you're going to sing and play it. Um, if you can pick it and play it and it sounds great, then do that. Um, but I just wanted to include the picking part too. 
in case that was what you were interested in learning, even though I'm not sure that was what was requested. So figure I'll show both. Now for the pre-chorus, uh, he mostly holds, I keep saying he as if it's Joe playing guitar. I'm not sure if he's the one playing guitar in this project. Um, in the video I watched, he was not playing it live. It was somebody dressed exactly like him. Um, so the guitarist was playing this. The pre-chorus starts back. So we end the, the verse on that C minor chord, but the pre-chorus starts back on the C major chord. So you remember our C major shape, we are going to put down, just put our uh, middle finger back down on the ninth fret of the G string. So, and then we're gonna slide down to a B minor chord. So you remember our C minor shape, it's the same shape except it's down a fret. So we're going to uh, put our ring finger on the ninth fret of the D string and then our index finger is going to be holding down the seventh fret of the B, sorry, the G, B and E string. So it sounds like this. Uh, That's when we first met. And then for through a friend, he plays an A chord. Now, you can play it a couple of ways. I like to play a caged system, D shape A, I suppose you could call it, by putting my um, index finger on the seventh fret of the D string, and then my middle finger on the ninth fret of the G string, my pinky finger on the 10th fret of the B string and my ring finger on the 9th fret of the E string. So it sounds like this. But um, since I usually play it with my fingers, what I like to do, I mean, you would probably want to do it that way if you were playing with a pick and you were just strumming the chords. What I like to do is just hold, <laughs> this is a lot easier for me, is just hold this shape just hold the last three strings and then I take my thumb and I grab the A or the root note just with this open A string. So you can play it however you want. Um, I'm not sure if these are the voicings that they play. Like I said, it's pretty difficult to know what voicings exactly they're playing because they play it live in a completely different key from the recording. Um, they've got a capo up on third fret. I think they are lowering it. So, um, this is just how I figured it out. It sounds good with the recording. So it kind of sounds like this so far. We've got, um, that's when we first met through a friend. We're gonna go back to our B minor and slide up to C. Something up. Back down to B. B minor, sorry. About you makes me. And then what we're gonna do is hold an E minor seven bar chord. So it's just, um, it's just gonna be your ring finger basically barring everything on the seventh fret of the A string down. And then your ring finger on the ninth fret of the D string. Uh, skip a couple strings down to the B. You're gonna put your middle finger on the eighth fret of the B. So this one, they strike twice. And then you go back to that um, that A chord again. So, um, something about you makes me feel like I can. And then you go back, uh, you do that slide up again, B minor C. Was it a dream or is it back down to B? And then the E minor seven, all in the past. <laughs> a little low for me, past. Uh, back to that A. And then we end the pre-chorus the same way we ended the verse, which is with a C major to a C minor. So, I just thought I'd... We're gonna lift our middle finger up again. Ask. So when we get to the chorus, um, the chorus starts on a G major seven chord. I like to play it kind of like this, uh, this shape. I do my index finger basically barring everything past the A. I do my ring finger on the 12th fret of the D string, my middle finger on the 11th fret of the G string, and my pinky finger on the 12th fret, sorry, the 12th fret of the B string. And when they play it live, I think 
they kind of uh, do a sort of a riff that goes along with the vocal melody. So they, it's something like this. So I turn back the tide. Um, and they do it like kind of fancy, fancy and noodly. Um, if you want to do that, um, you can just play the G major seven chord. And then where your pinky is, you're gonna hit the B string, move your pinky up uh, one fret, hit the B string again, hit the E string, and then go back to the uh, B string holding the original shape. So. You could do that. Um, for me, I feel like the harmony sounds like it's going from that G major seven to a G dominant seven. So I kind of just play the uh, whole note. Maybe I'll give the guitar a little slap. And then I hold the same chord, but I just pick up my middle finger. It becomes a G dominant seven. So. So I turn back the time I'm at the chateau. And right there in the recording, they also play the melody again. So you could play this at the, um, they, they, they basically do this. So if you want to do that, you could play it probably anywhere you want on the neck, but um, I found it here, I guess. And uh, I'm just hitting the 12th fret on the B, 13th fret on the B, and then I'm just doing a little bend on the 15th fret and I'm grabbing it with my uh, middle finger. And then, um, so after I do the bend, playing the 13th fret again, and then the 15th fret. Um, if you wanna do that, you can, if you wanna throw it in there. And then um, he goes to this B flat chord. I, in my cover of it, I just kinda go. Um, but I think in the recording he's playing a B flat major seven chords. If you wanted to do this, you are gonna grab, you're gonna use your pinky and you're gonna grab the eighth fret of the D string. The uh, index finger, sorry, I always call the ring finger the index finger. You're gonna take your ring finger and put it on the seventh fret of the G string, your middle finger on the sixth fret of the B string, and your index finger on the fifth fret of the E string. And he plays, I just think he just starts on the D string and just play, plucks them all down. And then he slides the whole shape up to back to a C major chord. I think it's something like just simple like that. Um, I might be a little bit different. Um, so just arpeggiates that chord again and back to a G major chord. So the way that I would just play the chorus would be so I Turn back the time I'm at the chateau and I feel all right. And basically, that's the entire song. All right, and that's pretty much the entire song. The verse and the chorus just repeat twice, and then there is a uh, chorus that kind of repeats a couple times at the end. So basically, all you have to learn is those uh, parts, the verse, chorus, and pre-chorus, and then you can get jamming. So please let me know what you thought of this tutorial. Like I said, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and I will answer all of them. And let me know what you wanna see from this channel. If you've enjoyed this video, uh, I'm happy to take requests and I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day and I hope that this was helpful. Bye.